Okay, so this is not really a title that I expected myself to be playing at all. In fact, one would imagine this is a title that I would think was uh, a bit redundant. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, the concept itself is kind of fun, and if you're into PC building, I can ca I kind of understand why they do it. What I didn't expect was a game mode that completely fucking hooked me, and that would be the career mode of PC Building Simulator. So we're gonna jump straight into it, I have deleted all my other saves, so this will be my main one. We can pick a workshop here, we can pick the Racer workshop, which is of course sponsored by Racer. We have the Republic of Gamers workshop here, uh, but we are gonna pick this one, the basic one. And this is basically just a ugly rental space in a big apartment building. So as you can see, the computer here actually mimics my desktop uh, wallpaper. I can change it if I like, but I don't. Uh, so we're gonna check email here. And uh, we've already got a job, but we'll wait with that. Basically, uh, our Uncle Tim is uh, heading abroad, and he uh, wants us to take over his PC shop for him. He apologized that it is not in a better state, but a few things. One, the company is not doing very well. There's no money in the bank account. The rent and energy bills come out monthly, so make sure we have enough money for them. I had a job on the go which should help with rent, see email below. Remember to use your thermal paste when putting in a CPU, I almost always forget and the pieces overheat. Gee, I wonder why the company isn't going well. So I think you're all set up, it's your company now, so run it how you see fit. I hope you do better than I did. Here's the thing, uh, he says that it's our company now, but he doesn't actually give us the any ownership of it, you have to buy that from him. So he, he's just a complete and fucker, a fucking scam. We should sue this guy. Uh, especially as he uh, misappropriates company funds. I had to borrow 15 pounds, uh, $15 for fuel, you know how it is. So this card. Okay, I hope you can help me. My computer has been running slower than usual and I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Thanks, Gary. And he actually o offers us a hundred bucks just to take a look at that. So uh, this will be the the job, and um, right now the uh, we have the tutorial portion. But right now we just need to worry about uh, basic stuff. So we are going to install the USB drive because software won't install itself, and then we're gonna power it on. Powering it, uh, powering up takes a bit, so we can check here if there are any other clues we might need. The PC itself looks fairly clean. Uh, if it has been purchased in this shop, then we can safely assume it doesn't have any thermal paste, but hopefully it does. So then our next ob our next uh, objective is gonna be to run the virus scanner here. Make sure that. Uh, we have the software necessary to handle the problems. Alright, so we'll just need to restart now. It's a little bit annoying with uh, the, the computer sounds and all that, but it, it, it works. So we're gonna run the virus scanner, and oh boy, does this guy have infected files. 529. And now that the viruses are gone, we can just grab the computer and put it out here. And uh, we can just collect the, pa the payment, which is 100 bucks. So we completed the first, and uh, we can basically just, just skip the rest of the day. So end the day. I suppose Uncle Tim earned his uh, money. Here we have Tim's Red Hot Repairs. Yeah, fuck that. And like I said, it says here you must own 25% of the company to change its name, but buying shares in the company is usually not worth it. 
I didn't realize your uncle had gone away. Looks like the business in, is in good hands. Okay, so. Um, this guy wants us to remove viruses and clean out dust. We get a hundred bucks for that, so yes. Uh, this guy wants uh, more space to back up, uh, uh, back up files. He wants us to install a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and he'll bring it. Uh, uh, they'll bring it around first thing. And uh, here they have a broken graphics card with a budget of 300 bucks. So they want a GeForce 970 or better. So uh, we're gonna go to the shop, and they. Since these people are gonna want new stuff, they're not, we're not gonna be able to pawn off any used parts on them. Not that we have any. So, uh, let's see here. The gamer standard gamer version should do fine. You might notice that we don't actually have any funds for this, so we have to overdraw. And uh, we're gonna buy a Mortini e-storage there. Uh, next day delivery should do fine. It's gonna cost us 30 bucks, uh, but uh, it should it should do nicely. We're just gonna end the day, and uh, here we have three computers now. F uh, we're gonna start with the scan, and oh boy, is this fucking computer dirty! So we are gonna unscrew the screws here, and uh, we're gonna open up the case. The first thing. And we are gonna get the compressed air and blow out all the dust here. This is all satisfying. You don't really expect it to be satisfying. The the uh, sound effects, however, is currently very annoying in my ear. But I can make do with that. So cleaned out, and since we're not doing anything else, we can just screw everything back on. So, we're going to... I hate this part. You can buy an upgrade later on that actually plugs the cables in automatically, and I usually get it just because this is fucking annoying. There we go, and we are going to install a USB drive as well. There we go. Power on. Uh, in uh, basically any other game, I would currently be, uh, or rather any other save of the saving game, I would be uh, just switching to another desk at this point, see if there's any tasks I could be doing. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, we need to pick up the delivery as well, there we have the delivery of the stuff for it. Yes, we are going to restart that. And uh, once that is done, we're going to make sure the viruses are completely and utterly gone. Because that is going to, that's going to be uh, quite necessary. Gonna run the virus scanner. 273 infected files, and that's it. We'll just put... Yeah, the computer is all done. I just wanted to confirm that before I put it there. So the scan is done, we'll switch to the email, and they basically said that uh, your free overdraft limit is 1000 bucks. That's very uh, generous of them. Very generous indeed. Okay, so the first labor um, got done, so uh, that that's done. So we helped her a bit with uh, the overdrawn fees. Or, it's really just a lending fee. So, this is going to be the fix. This is going to be replace the graphics card. So, we're going to remove the uh, casing here. We're going to have a look at this. This is interesting. Uh, it does, I don't know if there's actually any cables connecting this card or not. Uh, we'll just simply have to remove the PCI lock first. So we can remove the card and properly inspect it and see if it's actually broken. Because sometimes you can do a... Yeah, it's actually broken, so we're just gonna sell it. Uh, sometimes you can get computers where you do have a budget. Uh, and you should always stick within the budget. And uh, if you uh, stay within the budget, you will realize that... Wait, the only thing wrong with this computer is that it's not plugged in or anything. So you can usually save yourself the cost of parts. 
Okay, so uh, the new graphics card is installed. And of course it's not plugged in. And the worst thing about it is you absolutely have to plug in everything or there's gonna be an error. God forbid that you just plug in the screen. So, uh, there we go. Yes, it can boot to PC, so we're gonna p put it out there for them to collect. And new parts, we we got everything. As you can see, as long as we stay within the budget, they are going to compensate us for the parts we're using. And the cost of the parts, which is actually pretty damn good. It's a good deal for us, because that means that we uh, get... We usually get... Um, our money back when we do purchases. So we're going to take this upgrade here and yeah it looks good. Uh, we are however going to try and have a look on where exactly where the memory is. Oh sorry the storage not the memory. Yeah so we're gonna unplug this. Okay so we we didn't do the right one. Alright, so we have the storage here, the... And as you can see, now we brought a 120GB drive out, and we get to keep that. And this will be part of our used parts package. So, we are going to uh, keep connecting ev everything. I don't know why stuff here aren't really connected, but uh, they are now at least. So we're going to ins- oh wait, we need to close the drive bay first. Done deal, and of course we're going to put in a USB drive, because the new drive doesn't have an operating system. So we're just going to wait and endure the horrible, horrible pain of waiting through the installation of the operating system, which actually takes a lot shorter time than it does in pretty much any installation of an OS I've ever done. Now, if uh, this uh, would was actually a, a real installation, yeah, it's ready to go. So uh, we're gonna boot uh, out the door and parts 50, 50 bucks and labor 300 bucks so they're basically paying us outrageous prices here so here you see we have auto connect tool uh, if i can afford the auto connect tool i'm actually gonna buy it because i'm a lazy sod and uh, you can also see that we have like will it run and parts ranking and system info but i'm gonna buy will it run and uh, no, I'm just gonna buy the auto connect tool. Uh, it's overdrawn again, but uh, we're gonna see if we actually got an, any jobs. Yeah, so basically we're overdrawn again. Fuck that. We have a utility bill next next week, so hopefully we yeah we got a few jobs waiting for us. Just two of them. Uh, remove viruses and hot and broken PC. Uh, so, replace air cooler, and uh, yeah, I can do that. The problem is I just realized I'd never actually ordered any air coolers. So, we're gonna have to do the scan of this compute. Uh, sorry, well, we are gonna have to do this one first, really. And uh, we're going to remove this. And we're going to have to endure the sound of compressed air. I'm using a SteelSeries Arctis headset. And for some reason, the sound of the air is a lot more grating in my he in my headset than it is on, say, um, anything, literally anything else. Done and done. 
Uh, so the air cooler, remove the... I think we might need to have a look and see if it's actually broken. Or if simply Uncle Tim just uh, forgot to... Uh... Yeah, that's broken, alright. So, shop. We are gonna get go to the CPU cooling. And our budget there is 10 bucks. He wants he wants the cheapest one he can f we can find. We actually have one in our inventory, but next working day, so. Meanwhile, we can get this done. Try and dig ourselves out of the depth that Uncle Timmy is sending to us. Okay, so basically, this, uh, I went a bit ahead of time here. We don't actually need to open this one. This is just a virus check here. So we're going to install the USB drive. And we're going to get the virus antivirus software running. I know what you're thinking right now. You're basically thinking that, hey, this is a PC building simulator. So why am I doing, like, the must most simplest and uneducated jobs ever and that is because we have inherited a trash company but I, I basically feel like for some reason I have gotten really attached to this game it's just absolutely a blast because it's the kind of game where you don't actually need to think all that much as long as you are aware of the ground principles of the game. So once you learned the basic stuff, it's a very simple game to just sit and enjoy. Yes, we want... And you want an upgrade, 16 GB of RAM. We can collect the money from that one, which means we get... Okay, so we have new parts available. Uh, this guy wants 16 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, I heard you guys put used parts in your PCs. Please don't do that. Uh, he has a, actually has a decent budget too, so we're gonna get to the shop. Uh, it doesn't say anything about what kind of po what kind of uh, stuff or. So we're gonna get uh, some decent RAM for him. In cart, next day delivery. Alright, so we're gonna get a bunch of computers tomorrow, or rather Monday. Here is the RAM and the air cooler. So, fix. Uh. Now we're going to open the CPU shield and notice that there is no thermal paste there. So we're going to make sure to apply it. It could be why the air cooler didn't really take. So we're going to screw that in. I did replace... Oh wait, I forgot something. I have to remove this before the computer fucking explodes. I don't know if you noticed what the mistake I did, but I didn't connect the cable. You need to always remember to connect the cables. So now we should be done. The computer can boot to OS. The air cooler has been replaced, and the dust has been cleaned out, which is very good. Okay, so we're going to go to our upgrade project next, but we're going to make sure that stuff for your daughter's new PC is the one we're working on now. Uh, collect on that one, and we are not out of the red. Uh, also, we need to get this contract immediately. They want a Sheen Power King 600 or better. We're just gonna leave it there until we know if we need to order more parts. Out you go, and 
let's get the compressed air and the, just clean this fucker out. We're gonna need that. It's a lot more clean now, and uh, apparently they had a decent set there. But we are good with the memory here, and this also gives us decent amount of memory that we have in backup, just in case we need that. So the rig needs the rig seems to be done for the, the moment. Right, let's see if this thing can boot. Shouldn't be any problem for it to do so. Right, places in the delivery area and done. Yeah, we're going to accept that. Uh, as you can see, I'm giving my computer a PC and she needs a lot of RAM, apparently. She says she needs 16GB and I've currently got t uh, t 2 and 4 RAM slots on my PC. So sadly, we are going to need to wait for that. Uh, this card. This card. This one is... We're gonna collect on that. We And... Uh, Go to the PC, and this one, want, they want this done by the end of the day. So of course we can do that. Alright, so... Alright, so let's power, power it on and see what we get from it. Aww! That's an adorable pick. Alright, let's uh, pick up the money from that job, discard the mail. Uh, this one is in transit, this one is in transit, so yeah. I'm gonna... Okay, so we need to pay a utility bill. Uh, I'm gonna check the, this computer, because this is going to be the most important one. Uh, I'm also going to check, yeah, we have the Sheen Power King there. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can actually pawn off the used RAM here. Nah, I don't know. We'll see. Memory. No, uh, the memory we have is incompatible. So we need to uh, two one three three. I wonder what kind of budget he had. We need we need to double check that. The budget is 140. So yeah, that's going to cover it. So we're just gonna leave for the day. We have to wait for the go to work. Pick this up. It's gonna be a utility bill, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed your electricity, remember to turn out your lights. Yes, they want the... Okay, so they want uh, 16 gigabytes of memory. PC not turning on. Skylake socket, and this one wants 16 gigabytes of memory. So we can just order that straight away. Uh, let's see what... Yeah, that... 
that is actually a decent budget, so we could just as well just buy a straight up 16 gigabyte RAM. He wanted white cable, so let's order a white uh, RAM. Let's just see, make sure we actually do have the white cables. We do. Uh, so rig needs upgrade. Discard that. All right, so view the cart, and we'll see if. Uh, and this this one they wanted 16 gigabyte of RAM for. So open memory clip. Open uh, open sesame. Uh, so we can basically just install all four of these now. Right, we are done. One thing I should <coughs> should mention is that there's not any time limit on the day. So, you can basically take your time. There's no rush to do any of this. And let's see if we can boot this. That we can, so this one goes in there, and this one goes in. Yeah, they want also want us to run 3D Mark on that one. So let's go to the email and collect the payment for that one. remove this uh, oh wait we're, we're not going to get it away from this side so we have to basically unscrew it on this side as well uh, so that is done and we need to remove the PCU mount as well lots of screwing here screwing around and then we'll simply make sure that the cables are done and that everything has a connection to the sheen power king and then of course we are gonna have to install all the side panels again And of course we're gonna have to install the PCU mount and it doesn't seem like we can actually do that as long as the, this cable is attached. There we go, install. So side panel and they want us to run 3d mark now 3d mark is gonna take a long time but it's gonna keep running in the background so you can basically go and do other stuff in the meantime However, since we don't actually have any other, any other, uh, stuff to do, it's basically just sitting here waiting for it to finish. Of course, we can always check the mail again. Might as well do a next day delivery on the RAM.
So his budget was 80. I kind of hope I didn't over... I, I hope I didn't break that. No, it was right on the money, in fact. Literally right on the money. So we'll just have to wait for 3D Marks to uh, finish its job. Alright, so 3859, that's a decent mark right there. They paid the price, and uh, we got free computers in transit. We're gonna make sure we do those as well. So, upgrade, we can do that first, since we do, do know we have the RAM. Okay, so he got he got eight at this point in time. And we can just put the sixteen gigabytes in there. And <clears throat> then of course just mount the side panel again. And then we wait. Alright, it's ready to go. So we're gonna throw it out the door. Okay, so apparently uh, our idiot of a uncle missed the thermal paste on the previous computer. So uh, basically he demands we fix this for free, and of course we're gonna do that. We don't really have much choice, uh, we can ignore the job, but it doesn't really it doesn't really matter because it's such an easy thing to do. Okay, so we basically missed our deadline by cleaning this out by the end of the day. Which is kind of annoying, because uh, it's such an easy assignment. Alright, so it's done, but he's not gonna be placed. Okay, what did I forget in my haste here? Oh, do we get to keep the PC because it's not complete by the end of the day? Because right now... Right now, uh, we can just place it there. But it doesn't seem like we can actually collect on this. We didn't change the cables either. Okay, so this one is a change of a motherboard. Changing a motherboard is annoying as fuck. Because you basically have to remove everything, and then you have to keep track on on what parts are going back in there. Right, so we're removing the motherboard now, including the fucking screws. We basically just sold off the previous card, but I don't 
think we, I think we might have forgotten to order the new ma the new mo uh, motherboard. Uh, fortunately, it's not really a big deal. Uh, however, this guy basically wants his new mother card on the cheap, so there's only one option for us. Uh, but we're gonna do a next day delivery on that. Let's check the email, and yes, you can have it. Uh, he wants 16 gigabytes of RAM in there. We can order one right now. And let's grab the motherboard. There we go. And then, of course, we are going to get the processor in there. Oh wait, we almost forgot something very important. And then we're going to install his memory. Done and his graphics card. Connect all the cables. It still says there's all there's missing cables. Ah, from uh, wherever the hell that is. And this is done. Alright, so now we actually get feedback. So we basically got a bongle feedback. So he attached the login here and he... I noticed your bon Uncle Tim. Hello from sunny Spain. I was just surfing on the beach, not wave surfing, instant surfing. I just noticed your bungle rating is down the toilet. What are you doing uh, over there? Now, before we quit for today, we are gonna have a look at that bungle rating that he was talking about. So we're going to add that to... Uh, so we're gonna get the next day delivery, obviously. And uh, so we're going to add remove programs. We're going to add bongle. And we're going to check out the reviews. Okay, so a lot of our recent reviews were good, but then we have Terrible, a CPU needs thermal paste, what are you playing at? I like the guy, but he really has no business working on PCs. This is not the repair shop you're looking for. My top of the line PC is now in a very expensive paperweight, I will be seeking legal redress. Could have just thrown the PC out the window. Dodgy guy and very dodgy decor would not recommend. Worst repair job ever, which I could give zero stars. I only wanted the inside dusting. Granted, it came back clean, but it doesn't turn on anymore. Lovely guy, but he doesn't seem to know what he was doing. PC came back worse than when I sent it. So, that is basically what Uncle Tim is doing with his business until we took over. So basically, this entire thing is a scam, and I'm walking out the door right this minute. See ya.